Hey everybody, this is Julie with Two Chicks Quilting and we are back here in Missy's sewing room, in her quilting room. And one thing I forgot to mention to you on the previous video, we were talking about how to install your hand, your hand wheel to your front pole, so you can go back and watch that video. But one thing I didn't mention is that Missy has a super leader on her machine. If you see in her room, Missy, you want to show them like how tight your space is. So she has her frame set up at 10 feet, but um, she has a very tight space for her machine. So she cannot get to the back of her machine easily. So she has what we call a super leader, and I'm gonna move my little work table out of the way. And so her super leader will actually come all the way to her front pole so she can connect her back right here at the front of her machine and not have to get to the back of her machine. So I did fail to point that <clears throat> out to you all ago, so I'm going to, um, I just wanted to make sure we showed that to you. Okay, so this next video we're gonna do is how to install your handy grabbers. So on all of the um, newer, the Studio 2 and Gallery 2 frames, you have your um, bungee cord type clamps. Now, if you haven't upgraded your frames, if you have an original gallery frame, you may have Velcro here. You will have to upgrade your uh, frame to be a gallery two to be able to use these cords, but um, it is well worth it because there are some awesome side clamps <coughs> systems. So what we're gonna do right now though, we have improved our side clamp from the style that just holds your, where you have to have two hands to clamp that cord down in there. We've upgraded these to what they call the bungee grabber. And the bungee grabber is just a, a little clamp that your bungee cord just very easily pops down in there. So you can do it with one hand very easily. So we are going to show you how to install that. So the first thing you're gonna do get these cords out of the way, is pull your elastic cord, your bungee cord, out of your side clamp. And you will need to install this on your frame, you will need two sets of these. So it comes in a set of two. Each side of your frame on a studio frame has two clamps. Now, on a gallery frame, each side has three clamps. So you'll need three packages of them but it's very, very easy to install, and so we're gonna show you how to do that. First thing you're gonna need is, it comes with a little Allen wrench in here, so if you, if you wanna use that one, you can. I have one that has a handle on it, so it makes it a little easier. We're gonna take out the um, little nuts, or little screws that hold this on. And I'm holding this together because there's a center piece and I'm gonna tell you, Missy and I just had a fight with it, so we'll explain to you how that works here in just a second. <clears throat> I'm gonna put my screwdriver under here just to make sure it doesn't slip up on me. Now this one's gonna be really tight, Missy, and be hard to get out, but the back one was very loose in there and so it kept falling down. So I wanted to show you this piece does come out you will not need any of these pieces. So we're just gonna set those aside now and we are gonna show you what you do get. You get your, um, this is called your cam cleat. So these little cleats, as you see, they kind of rotate like that. That's what holds onto your bungee cord. And then this piece here, this is all you get. Note, these little nuts are gonna come off. I'm gonna have to loosen them up with a screwdriver. It's a Phillips screwdriver, so just any Phillips screwdriver will work. We're gonna take those off, and we're gonna set those aside because we do not need them. Hey, Karen. Karen's walked in. Hey, Karen. Okay, so now we are gonna take this piece here. This faces your outside and it, face, it goes in like a U. So this is the top of the piece. And it is gonna fit down right in that middle 
of your frame like that other piece did and it's not gonna fall down because it's so tight here. So now, whoop, almost lost my little screws. I'm gonna take these and line them up. Karen says, hey y'all. Karen, can you believe she's making me work on a Sunday? Uh, Karen, <laughs> let's not ask how long I've had these. <laughs> Okay, so we're we're gonna tighten these just one at a time, just enough to where this isn't gonna wiggle. You don't want to over tighten these, or your little cams won't work. They'll they'll be too tight. They won't spin. So we're just gonna tighten them just enough to where this whole piece isn't wiggling. And then I'll take the end of my bungee cord. And I'm gonna push it down in here and make sure that that's going to hold it secure. And it's not gonna be so tight that I can't get it in there. So it's not wiggling. I could tighten it just slightly more, but not much. There you go. Now you just do that three more times and your bungee grabbers are in place. And um, another video that we did a few months ago was how to install your handy hammock. If Missy uses her handy hammock a lot, as you see, she has her red snappers down in there right now, but your batting lays in there so it doesn't drag on the floor um, and you step on it. If you float your top, you could put the, back, the bottom of it down in there so it doesn't drag on the floor. The handy hammock is really nice too. Um, I like when I take my clamps off instead of dropping them where they hit the floor the handy hammock kind of catches them. So it is kind of also a little safety feature as far as I'm concerned, because if you drop something, a lot of times that hammock will catch it. So uh, it's really nice to have, it's just one of those extra little accessories that we carry at the shop along with your super leader for the back of your frame um, and your extra hand wheel and your handy quilter bungee grabbers to update the side of your machine for your clamps. So, Anyway, give us a call if you have any questions, if you need help. I hope these videos are helping you to install those cool little accessories on your machine, and you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.